Welcome to this NEBOS Diploma question and answer session from Safety Management Consultancy Limited. I'm Steve, one of the health and safety consultants, and I'm going to take you through the questions and answers. Okay, let's take a quick look at a question. The question is relates to a fault tree, um, and the question is worth 10 marks, and it reads, an operator is required to monitor a steam boiler. Under fault conditions, the operator is at risk from injury from explosion due to either of these conditions. A, the boiler burner being lit when operating with low water conditions, or B, overpressure. The expected frequencies of the failures that would lead to either of these effects are given in the table below. And they are for A, the boiler burner being lit, is the water level detector fails at a frequency of 0.1 per year. Um, or an electrical fault at a frequency of 0.05 per year. For B, um, the overpressure, there are three conditions here. It is the electrical fault, again, at 0.05 per year, uh, the pressure switch failure at 0.1 per year, and the relief valve failure at 0.05 per year. Given that the operator is at risk for 20% of the time that the boiler is operating, um, you have to construct and quantify a simple fault tree to show the expected frequency of the top event, um, which is the injury to the operator. Please press pause if you'd like to have a go at this question. Okay, let's look to see if we can construct the fault tree for this question. Well, the first thing we need to do is identify the top event, which is the operator being injured. Now, how can the operator be injured? Well, let's look at the events below that then, which are the first level events. Now, how can the operator be injured? Well, we know that it's due to the boiler explosion from the question, but also we need the operator to be exposed. Now, we need both of those conditions to um, happen. So we need the operator to be exposed and we need the boiler explosion. And because of that, then that is an AND gate. Next, we need to look down at the events below the boiler explosion, which are the second level events. So we were given them from the question, um, and that was either it was due to low water, condition A, or overpressure, which was condition B. But the boiler ex could explode due to either of these. So for this, we actually have an OR gate because it can either be low water or the overpressure. For the third level events then, well, we were given them again in the question from the table. That is due to the low detector failure or an electrical fault for condition A, the low water. So that is an OR gate because, again, it is either the level detector failure or an electrical fault. For the overpressure condition B, there's actually three conditions. It could be due to the electrical fault or the pressure switch or the relief valve. And again, because it could be either of these, that is also an OR gate. So that is what your fault tree should look like. Um, I think that the main thing to remember here is to make sure that you have the operator exposed um, in the top, um, sorry, in the first level event. Okay, what we need to do now is apply the frequencies from the table. So for condition A, the low water failure, well, the frequency for the level detector um, is 0.1 per year, and the frequency for the electrical fault, 0.05 per year. Now, because this is an OR gate, we need to add the frequencies. So to get the frequency for the low water failure, that is 0.1 plus 0.5 giving us a frequency of 0.15 per year. Again, for condition B, applying the frequencies to how the overpressure could happen. Um, for the electrical fault, 0.05 per year. For the pressure switch, 0.1 per year. And again, for the relief valve, 0.05 per year. And again, because this is an OR gate, we add the frequency. So to get the frequency of the overpressure, it is 0.1 plus 0.05 plus 0.05, giving us a frequency of 0.2 per year. Now, to get the frequency for the boiler explosion, then again, that is the frequency of the low water plus the frequency of the overpressure. And therefore, frequency is 0.15 plus 0.2 
giving us a frequency of 0.35 per year. So now we have the frequency of the boiler explosion. But from the question, we were told that the operator was exposed for 20% of the time. So the frequency for the operator being exposed is equal to 0.2 per year, equating to 20% of the time. Now to get the frequency for the operator injury, um, we have an AND gate here. So rather than adding them, um, for an AND gate, we times the frequency to get the frequency of the operator injury. So the frequency is 0.2 times 0.35, giving us a frequency of 0.07 per year, um, which is the answer to the question. So to get your marks for this question, you need to draw a fault tree that looks something like that. Um, calculate all the frequencies at each of the level events and calculate the frequency of the operator injury at 0.07 per year. However, if you made a slight error in your fault tree or calculated one of the frequencies slightly incorrectly, but the majority of the fault tree looked like the answer and the frequencies were mostly correct, then Nibosh would give you a good lot of the marks for this question. Um, you wouldn't lose all the marks. Okay, that ends the question and answer session for that module. Um, I do hope that you found the questions and proposed answers useful. Um, don't forget that if you need any further um, support or information, please do contact us um, at Safety Management Consultancy um, and we will endeavour to try and answer your questions. Um, good luck with the rest of your studies.